Bonjour à tous, Maria Camille et donc bienvenue sur le campus principal de l'Université de Kagawa. Donc je vais maintenant vous présenter les parties internationales de cette université. So the first reason I entered Kagawa University is because uh, this is the only university that partnered with mine in France, with the University of Savoie Mont Blanc. So uh, the second reason is because This is the only university that displays the course I can take and that follow my course in France. Uh, it's completely different from my life in, um, in France because uh, I have to adapt to a new environment, so in Japanese as well. So it's really interesting to do this. But I have also a lot of different friends, such as international friends and Japanese friends, and this is what I like the most. So here is the global cafe, located in the old square. Welcome to the global cafe. So welcome to the global cafe. This is a space separated in two rooms. The first room is the student rooms that we can see here. Every Japanese students and international students can meet here to have a meeting or enjoy free talking with their friends. This is where all the international events are held most of the time, and as well as international workshops on languages. Uh, so food and drinks are allowed, as well as conversation, as long as this doesn't bother others. So now we're going to the second one. This one is the classroom. It provides a natural and quiet environment where all the English classes or other languages classes are held. This is also where international seminars can be provided to all the students. But now due to the COVID-19, all the classes are cancelled and everything is held online with a teacher going through Zoom. So currently I'm an exchange student at Kagawa University in the Faculty of Engineering and Design. And most of my course I based on the different kind of design I'm learning. So for example interactive design or lifestyle design and as well as methodology. So before the pandemic I used to go on small trips with my friends uh, all around Japan, so in big cities such as Osaka, Hiroshima, things like this. But now I mostly spend my time in my dormitory or I go to shrine temple in Kagawa. So before coming to Japan, it was difficult to adapt to my new lifestyle because I didn't really understand or speak really well Japanese. But now since the Sanuki program, I improve a lot. So concerning so how I live in Japan, I'm currently in an inter international dormitory. So this is where Japanese students and international students uh, live together. The Japanese students help international students with their daily lives by being a residence tutor. There is also a lot of events and in the summer, such as the Nagashi Summer, and this is where international students can interact with the local community. So most of the time I go to the university bakery, Solami, and I order one of my favorite bread is the one with cream and cheese and basil. はい、どうぞ。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
So here is the international office. I will now present it to you. So the international office is where uh, Japanese students can come and seek advice on how to go overseas. And this is also where uh, people from international other faculties come to do like exchange programs or seeking advice or information on how to earn credits and how to go overseas, things like this. So to promote is internationalization, Kamo University made a lot of improvements in facilities. So they built this room in the end of pre 2020 for both Japanese and international students of different religion, nationalities and culture. So if you want to come to Kawa University, I highly recommend it because you will be able to sit in an academic environment and have access to a various range of academic fields. Plus, you will be able to have new connections with international students as well as Japanese students. It's really, really interesting. So, kite ne!